Hi everybody, this is Rich Fisher for FishForScores.com. We're here at Steinert High School on a wild, wild, wild Wednesday night of wrestling, opening night of dual meet action, and Nottingham has just taken down Steinert 40 to 39 on a last bout pin by freshman Kamir Edwards. <laughs> he had the pin, there was no other way out of it. Nottingham was losing by five. All Steiner had to do was stay off its back. Kamir Edwards with 30 seconds left gets a pin to win it. Just a wild match. Nottingham was up 22 to nothing. Fell behind by 11 with two bouts to go. They got two pins. And I'm with two of the stalwarts of this team, two of the stars, in Jerry Andalus on my left. What, is that my left? Yeah, my left. I'm a little excited after this match. And Josh Almanzar on my right. And these two guys helped get the whole thing started. Let me uh, let me get my old man glasses on here. With the score 22 to three. Uh, wait, no, that's not right. Where, where are we here? No, you guys early on to help build the lead, Jerry got a pin at 170 and Josh followed and got a pin at 457. And guys, before we get to you two, just what a way to start the season. Josh, what can you say about this? I'm extremely proud of our young guys. We train extremely hard at practice, and it's just, it's nice to see all them, their hard work just go out and fulfill them. It's just wonderful. And, I mean, talk about Edwards and what? Oh, man. Kwanir, he's, he's a prodigy, man. I believe a lot of him. He trains hard at practice. He's extremely dedicated, and I, I can't wait to see him in his later years. You'll be gone. You'll be doing something else. We still watch him, Coach. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now, Jerry Andalus told me before it that he thought it was going to come out exactly like this, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you kind of just expect things from your team. Like, you kind of know how certain people wrestle and what, what could possibly happen. So, you know, we've got one of the best coaches in, in, MC, in Mercer County, or in the state, matter of fact. And, you know, they kind of, like, do the math and kind of put people in, in a certain position and tell us what to do. So you kind of just throw things around. And some of us made mistakes, but thank God, you know, we have good teammates and people that drill hard and practice this. And we get put in this position, you know. We get put in, in positions like this at practice where we have to do things like this we, just to get the win. So I, I kind of just expected it because I talked to him before the match, got him hype. You know, you got to live in these moments because you're going to remember them forever first of all and it's you know it's a great moment for him especially as a freshman that's really it's a big step for him and I think that it's going to help him a lot for the season. Big step for him and how big is this step for the team I mean you could have come out of here having say, saying you blew a 22 nothing lead instead you pulled out at the end how much will this lift you guys? Oh man it's going to be an extreme confident booster for everybody on the team especially the young guys especially all the guys that wrestled in the Nottingham tournament to even have more experience it's it's going to really boost their confidence. What do you think Josh? Uh, uh, I I think it's going to be, yeah, like you said, it's going to be a really uh, big uh, confidence booster for us just because, you know, a lot of these guys never wrestled before. They don't know what it's like. It's their first match, especially to come out here, wrestle your first match like this, varsity, and you come out with a great win like this. Like, it's just insane. I mean, their hearts are probably racing. They're probably excited to go back to the wrestling room and just practice and work hard because they know it's worth it at the end of the day. They're, my heart's racing, so I can't even imagine what their heart's doing. Now, you guys, we're with the JA brothers here, and... Uh, these guys, whatever success Nottingham has this year, these guys are going to be, be a big part of it. Jerry got to the States last year. Josh got to the regions. These guys are good buddies. Josh, I talked to you a couple weeks ago. You told me how you and Jerry are always work out together. You've been good friends. Uh, Jerry, let's just start with you. What is working out with Josh, uh, you know, how does that help you and, and, and things like that? Um, it, it helps a lot. I mean, I, I train with a lot of people. A lot of people try to help me out. But I mean, it's kind of it's kind of hard to train with someone every day. So it's been a real uh, a real help training with them, just because you don't want to do things alone. I mean, not everyone wants to train every day, but you don't want to be alone. It's just kind of it kind of just helps you a lot, especially push yourselves, especially push yourself to to a pace where they expect you to be at. For example, I could just go to the gym and run a certain amount. But, you know, if I see Josh running more harder than me, I'm obviously going to want to push myself. So it's not even just about, oh, you're training with someone. It's about someone pushing you every day. So that's always, it's always been about that for me. Now, Josh says he wants to get to the States this year. Can he do it? Absolutely. You just got to believe in yourself. I mean, I was a seventh seed at Regions last year. I did it. I believed in myself. My coaches believed in me. All you really have to do in anything you do in life is just believe in yourself and put the time in and work in. I mean, I, I think that's pretty much it. And uh, I know I started wrestling my freshman year. I knew... I knew I was going to make it to States my, my, my junior or senior year, but I'm happy I did it my junior year because I worked real hard for it. 
and uh, obviously you want to get back this year and maybe make a pretty good run in it. Absolutely, you know, especially last year after seeing Levinsky Collins, oh my God, make history. I'm definitely excited to go over there, you know, and, and not even just win for my team, but win and represent Mercer County because I think that we definitely have one of the strongest competition coming out of here and for years to build, build up to that. I mean, I, you know, hopefully in the future we got guys, more guys going, especially because it's not that many people representing Mercer County. Right. But I think that it's definitely a strong, strong competition and people are working real hard to get there. Now, he, he told me as a freshman he was 200 pounds with long hair, and I wouldn't recognize him. What, is, is that an exaggeration, or was he, was he, a, was he a burnout heavy guy? <laughs> nah, yeah, he was. He, he, he was big. I mean, and it kind of sucks because when you're, when you're big, it, it's kind of you wrestle different. And you have to, and especially when you lift and you get skinnier and you, and you get big, you got to change the way you wrestle. And it's kind of hard to do that just because you already used to wrestling a specific way, and you, especially when you just start your freshman year. So he really had to adjust, and we really had to spend a lot of time, you know, working on those little details so he could, his, he, it could just be natural, like just that movement, just stepping, just circling, you know, rest, big, wrestling big guys, guys go upper weight. They don't go, they don't work on their feet. They don't work on top. So it was definitely, we just had to work real hard to get him to get him where we had to, uh, to be. Right. So I think that he, he put in the time. We spent a lot of time in my basement, you know, training. So I, I tried to explain to him and we watched videos and we really just talked about it. And I know he's, he's came a long way and I'm proud of him. What's his basement like, Josh? Does he give you anything to drink or anything? Or <laughs> you kind of on your own? <laughs> I mean, he got a new basement from our old training room, but the old training room was dusty, cold, and real musky. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you said it before. Talk a little too about what it, what it's like to work with Jerry and how he pushes you and how much he helps you. Oh man, this this last couple weeks before we started the season, he's been beating the crap out of me. It's just, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just been frustrating me and making me. Because I'm a very emotional guy and me trying to control my emotions and wrestle smart and not like a big meathead. So I'm real grateful for his pushing me and he's taught me a lot and I've gotten real better in my situations and my technique. Yeah, well you're ready to go, right? You want that state berth and you think you're going to get it, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, fellas, I can't thank you enough for coming on. I want you to have a very Merry Christmas. So I'm sure you will. Have a good holiday, and we'll be seeing you down the line yes, uh, with Josh Almanzar and Jerry Andalus. This is Rich Fisher for FishForScores.com. This will be our last video before the holidays, so Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a great one, and we'll see you after Christmas.